beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Cleveland, final day of the draft. You can see the entrance to the fan experience there, and then the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right next to it. Today is Saturday, May 1st, 2021, day three of the NFL Draft in Cleveland, Ohio. We just came in through security to the NFL Fan Experience. You can see part of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is still on the interior. And then over there you've got the draft stage. And then all the other exhibits are down that way with the Cleveland skyline in the background beautiful weather day. It's supposed to get up to about 68 degrees later. It's probably 65 right now, but not too much wind. So we're going to do a little bit of a walking tour, see how things are set up. So over here, it looks like we have a couple of merchandise stands with various hats, jerseys, the NFL shops. Just beyond that is the NFL locker room. I noticed the line was quite long for that. That's one of the popular exhibits. The, in, the exhibits that we have to wait for lines for, I'm not going to capture the inside of them on this video. If I'm able to do them I'll do a separate either picture or video on those later. You've got fan services and family services over there if people need it. I'm curious what's over here because it looks like there's a line in the middle of the street, but I'm not sure exactly what it's for. We're going to go around that. Oh, uh, it's probably a line for standing for the Browns jersey. So on the right side here, they have all the jerseys set up. And you can stand inside one of them. Let's get this a little bit higher so you can see. You got like the Vikings, the Bills, Bengals, and that's what the line is for, the Browns one over there. Uh, so I believe they have all 32 teams lined up in a row there. Oh, you can kind of see the draft NFL locker room exhibit. It's probably too dark for the video. And then on the left side here, they have the helmets that were previously in Mall C. And then again, they have a line set up specifically for the brown one. If you're looking for other helmets, you can pretty much walk right up to them. Same thing with these other jerseys, like if you're a Colts fan, just walk right up and get your picture snapped. Steelers jersey. <laughs> Got a reminder about this being a mask zone. On the sidewall there with the gate, you have all the team logos also. Great Lakes Science Center. Looks like the Great Lakes Science Center area is where all the food court areas are located. So a lot of concession stands and tables and chairs arranged. Oh, that's a new touch that wasn't here last time. You see the little flags for each team up there and then also uh, further back.
You have a guide here that shows where everything's at. Restrooms on the right, concessions to the right, draft theater to the right. Most of the stuff up ahead. And then on the left side here, we've got the big giant map. Let's veer on over there. I saw this online ahead of time, but it's always cool to see a in-person, big size version of the map. So we just walked along this bottom part, right? And now we're standing like right here. Get a shot where we just came from. More fan services, prize redemption, and there's the water refill station if you need to fill up your empty water bottle that you brought in. With the 122nd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Tyler Sheldon, nose tackle, LSU. There's the great firefighter monument. First Energy Stadium, tons of fans here. We are going to play a clip. D, call on who you think knows it. All right, ready? Ready, guys? Let's hear it. Let's get ready. Come on. All right. Let's hit it. Track one. You got the vertical jump over there, as, long, as well as the 40 Ooh. yard dash. <laughs> Who knows it? Who knows that one? Who knows that one? Philadelphia selected. Washington, Washington is on the clock. On the clock. So you can see big lines for these exhibits too. There's the Vince Lombardi trophy over there that you can take a picture with. Wait in line for that. And then Super Bowl rings over here you can take a picture with. And now we're approaching the NFL Draft Theater. So I'm not I'm not positive how close fans who aren't in the vaccinated zone can get. Well, let's give it a shot. I think if you're vaccinated, you're supposed to go to that side there, that little entrance. But I believe the general public is allowed to go over here. Now we probably we're not going to capture the Browns picks in the fourth round on this video, but we'll see what we uh, what teams picking when we get up there. Looks like the Eagles are on the clock right now. Let's see who the Eagles take. Well, 
Let's zoom in a little bit to the action. Now, one more thing to peek at for this tour. Let's go up these stairs. Should be able to see the TV coverage as well as what else is up there. I believe there's some Panini, uh, Panini tick virtual card stations and some type of. Uh, Pepsi related thing. Okay, let's get a perspective from over here. We got more concession bar areas and then that's ABC and ESPN over there on the right and I believe that's the NFL Network even though they're back to us you should be able to see yourself on TV maybe I'm not sure what the depth is of that but yeah that's uh that's about the tour of the outside area and then, like I said, you've got stuff inside First Energy Stadium, too. But if I do a video on that, I'll do a separate video. Love the skies today in the Cleveland backdrop. So we'll check what else we can see for the day three of the NFL draft. And thanks for tuning in, everyone. So the Denver Broncos are on the clock right now. Cleveland Browns are on the clock. There you go, perfect timing. So we should see the... Well, the Broncos haven't announced their picks yet. So the graphics should change right after that. This will be... crowded as the Browns next selection was coming up. Overall I'm pleasantly surprised with how there's still a good amount of space to move around and you, know, you get your own little your own little area so to speak by these gates.
Denver Broncos select Caden Stearns from the Union Safety from the University of Texas. So there's the Broncos pick. Brown should be flashing up on the draft theater pretty soon. There he goes. Day three so far in the fourth round, we've taken an offensive tackle and a defensive tackle. So at this point, it doesn't really matter what, what position we go after. Fifth round, you get that flexibility to take just the best player on your board, no matter what position it is. Chances are they're just going to be uh, filling out depth. All right, the Browns pick is in. be announcing the pick. Shortly 
after the Browns pick is announced, you can see fans filing out. <laughs> Although I don't think it's as dramatic as uh, how it was when the first round pick was announced because of the nighttime and cold weather. In this case, it's a beautiful day, so there's no rush to get out of here, and it's a weekend. The Pittsburgh Steelers in the home stadium. Here's more of a closer look at the NFL Network draft stage in the background, and then ESPN and ABC. Various bars over there. So, for some perspective, where we were standing on the first day of the draft wasn't down here. Let's zoom in. See that person in the orange shirt in the way in the background? It wasn't that area either. That was Mall C. But now, see way in the background, there's like a another layer. Uh, guy in a white shirt on the left there and that's where we were standing on top of the Huntington building so the next Browns pick is about to come up Hawaiian Tropic shirt, let's go. Uh-oh, he's... Cleveland has selected the Los Angeles Rams, so now on the clock. Come on up here, sir. I need... I need... Another fan, who knows? The, the, the blonde lady right here? Miss, you come on up here. This is a great sign of the... I've got one, two, three, four, four, five. I'll take one more. This side of the house. This side of the house. Okay, if you're pointing at him, if you're pointing at him, wait a second, hold on, stand by. This guy knows him back to the forward? I'll take the shot, come on up here, come on up. Draft a photo card over there. It's going to be fun, okay? And it's going to be fun. I'm going to ask everyone to slide off the side a little bit. We'll start right here. You're good, you're going to go kind of, yeah, just in the middle row. Here's how we're going to play. And this is going to take a little while to do. My six contestants. Right? All right. You each know the Browns backwards and forwards. Oh, this guy's going like this now. Okay. We're gonna find out. Each know the Cleveland Browns. We're the Cleveland Browns. Alright. You gotta go. Mike might be confident. I need to get the microphone, ladies. Thank you. This is a process. Of elimination game. I have a list. I'll explain more after the next pick. Do it, do it out. Do it out. Please let Rob select you. Please welcome Rob Lyon Worker and Rob McFan, Tom Wilson. Hello, Cleveland. Richard, Richard McCown, McCown, defensive back, back Georgia. Georgia. Oh. Los Angeles fans are just ready to trade Houston, Houston, and Texas are on the clock. Okay, okay, here we go. We're down a lot of ticks down, so we want to get to this. All right, we're in the stadium right now. So let's see how these guys do with their field goal kicks. Oh, much tougher than it looks in real life. People criticize kickers for not nailing 45-yard field goals. Well, there you go. That one drilled it. I think. It's always hard to tell from an angle if it went through. Let's see what other action we've got on the field here. 
Oh, this is the long toss one over here. So far, everyone I see try it, they go for the, the long net. I haven't seen people go for the short ones yet. Wind's knocking it down. Oh. Why did that guy catch it? It looked like it was about to go in. And then way down there. I think those ones in the distance are the kids related event. The play football. So for some perspective, when we were, I was walking through the tunnels earlier, you can tell there's a big crowd out there, but going up the aisleway was also a fairly large crowd. And also in the concourse, there was a fairly large crowd waiting. So you can see right now how there's a line coming down and going up and then going back around and that's where that line starts to eventually get over there. But even in the concourse area, the line probably extended in the concourse like way across the stadium. So One of those things where I thought to myself, oh, maybe I'll try it out, but when it's going to be that long of a wait, I'm like, eh, I'd rather just see all the other exhibits. Once again, you see the field goal event there, and then the throwing event down here. And what I realized is that the lines are actually connected for them. So you start off somewhere in the concourse, there's a big line. Eventually, you get to the point where you get to go down those steps, then up, loop around, and then back down. And then you wheel around until you get to this big back and forth line almost like you're at Cedar Point and then after you kick your field goal you exit but go into this line and that line wraps around just like the other one and then you loop around until it's your turn but at least you do get to do both events if you wait in line I thought at first it was two separate lines We've got the vertical jump event here. Let's see how tall you can jump. Let's see the line for that one there. And then a little bit further down, you've got the 40 yard dash. This was the final exhibit that was at the tail end. Right, right, right. 
Rocket Mortgage draft stage where you get to act like you're actually on the draft stage. Whatever fan team you are, they hand you a jersey. You stand and they put the backdrop in the background. The people before us had the Steelers. Now you got the Broncos. Let's see if someone gets the Cleveland Browns up next. Oh no, not another Steelers. What the heck? We got too many Pittsburgh fans in town. Alright, surely we've got some Cleveland fans in here, right? Oh, Dolphins. I mean, it is fun to see a wide variety of fans. I see Bills in line coming up. You can see the line there. That's it. It is a good grasp of a wide range of fans in the city who are here from across the country. All right, what's this next group got? I think I see green for the Jets. Yep, the New York Jets. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the tail end of our draft experience trip. Just wanted to show a few other things before we wrapped it up for the day. We've got the NFL Rocket Mortgage Draft Stage here. Various NFL teams are being shown. For example, the Cleveland Browns on the clock right now. They hand you a jersey. Announce your name as if you were the draft pick. But all the other teams that are in line, fans teams. So if the Bills go up there, they'll put the Bills on the big screen. So let's see what this next person is. I think they're also a Browns fan. So while we're waiting for that, over there was a second entrance exit area. So I came in on the, I believe it's the south side of the stadium. This is the north side entrance. They also have a vaccinated fan zone. Standby. And you can see in the background here again, we've got the Cleveland skyline with the key tower. To the left side here, we've got the 40-yard dash. Further on up ahead, first we have the food and beverage area. So it's kind of nicely spaced out, that draft stage, the food and beverage, and we'll get to the 40-yard dash area, followed by the vertical jump. There's a constant stream of people still filing in despite it being close to 4 o'clock p.m. On the left here you've also got a line for the pro shop which the NFL has taken over during this time period. announcing all these races all day long.
There's the vertical jump. You got two different lines for it. And then this is what we showed earlier with the Vince Lombardi trophy, Jim Brown statue, Super Bowl rings. The draft stage. The Houston Texans selection. Please welcome the 2020 Texans Fan of the Year, Daniel Flores. Hello, everybody. I'd like to say I love you, Mom. I miss you. And Hello Texans, fans everywhere around the world, uh, with a 195th hit. Say, you know what, that guy would have fit right in, or I would have loved to line up with that guy on Sundays in the 80s. Well, there's no question, because when you look at our football team, obviously we had the two all-pro corners, myself and uh, Frank Vinifield. Yep. We had the two all-pro linebackers, talking about Clay Matthews and Chip Banks. But we just needed that dominant, dominant pass rusher on the defensive line. And boy, would I love to just pluck Miles Garrett and put him right there on the defensive line and let him go. Decided to wait in line before I left to try to get at least one picture with the Browns <laughs> uniform. All right, so it's been a great experience here at the NFL Draft Experience. Fun day. The Browns had several draft picks, but I really enjoyed soaking up the atmosphere. The weather was beautiful, and hey, Cleveland may never get this again, so I had to come down here and check it out. You can see on the right side here, we've got the helmets again. The jerseys on the left side there, and then we'll spin around real quick, see some of the rest of this. Tons and tons of fans still hanging out here in the great city of Cleveland, Ohio. So thanks again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed all the video coverage, and go Browns.